Today I'll be showing you how to make this super strong mini bow that shoots over 200 feet and works as a limb for this mini crossbow which I'll be soon showing how to make. Some of you may have noticed that the blue bow looks similar to the bow on the left that I've already shown how to make on my channel, and it is similar. However, this new bow has a lot of improvements over the older version. This bow uses a different carbon fiber rod that's wider than the original version, and it's also flat as compared to round, thus making it a lot easier to make. The flatness of the rod makes it so the bow doesn't twist as you pull it back, making it easier to shoot and extending its lifetime. It's also better suited to be a limb for the mini crossbow that this video is preparing you for. These are the materials we'll use in making our dual purpose mini crossbow limb. First off, we'll need 8 to 12 inches of this carbon fiber rod with dimensions 0 0.057 inches by 0.177 inches. We're also going to need two crimp tubes of any color. This is what they look like up close. Last but not least, we'll need some line to string our bow with. I recommend wire with at least a 20 pound test, but I'm using fishing line with a 30 pound test just to be sure that I won't have to restring my crossbow. An optional material is electrical tape that we can use to wrap our bow with. It's not required, but it does help reduce splintering and it makes your bow look a lot cooler. If you'd like to save time and money by buying all of the correct materials you need in one place, stop by my shop at trumpimp.com. Getting the material kit for this bow will save you about $15 and you can be sure they are the exact materials I use in this video. Let's take a look at the tools we're going to need for this project. To cut our carbon fiber rod, we'll need either a hobby knife with a saw blade on it or a Dremel with a cutting wheel. The Dremel is highly preferred because it gives a faster, cleaner cut and it will help us out later on in the project. To make the holes in our bow, we'll need a hobby drill with a 1mm drill bit. A metallic marker or pencil will help us cut our carbon fiber rod to the desired length. A pair of needle nose pliers will help us close our crimp tubes when we string our bow. Lastly, we'll need some wire cutters to trim the excess string. Now that we have all our tools and materials, we're finally ready to start our project. Step 1 is where we choose the length of our bow or crossbow limb. If you'd like, you can keep your bow at 12 inches, but I don't recommend going anything below 8. The longer it is, the longer it'll last on your crossbow, but it does sacrifice some power. I usually keep my bows at about 8 inches long. Now we get to cut the bow. Some scratch paper will help us protect the surface we're cutting on. If you're using a Dremel like me, be sure to wear eye and respiratory protection as it's not good to breathe in carbon fiber dust. Once you're ready, make a clear cut through the carbon fiber rod with either your Dremel or your hobby knife. Now, we need to make the holes for our bow. Using your hobby drill and 1mm drill bit, start a small hole in the center of the rod about 2mm away from the end. Once you've got your hole started, continue drilling all the way through either with a Dremel or with your hobby drill. If you're using a Dremel, you'll have to change the collet to a smaller one that can fit a 1mm drill bit. Be sure to keep your eye and respiratory protection on. Once you've got a clean hole, repeat the same process for the other end of the carbon fiber rod. This is what it should look like when you're done. Now that we've got the holes drilled, we're through with the hardest part of our project. This step is optional, but I highly recommend it. Wrapping our bow with electrical tape will prevent it from splintering, make it look cooler, and make it more comfortable to shoot. To do this, I usually cut my 3 quarter inch electrical tape in half. This allows the tape to overlap less, making the bow look a lot better when it's finished. To get started, place the end of the tape at a diagonal underneath the hole you drilled. Begin twisting the rod as you pull the tape toward the other end. While you're doing this, try to keep the angle the same that you're pulling from so that it looks as uniform as possible when you're done. Once you reach the other side of the rod, cut the remaining tape and flatten it without covering the hole. We're finally ready to start our last step. This is where the two crimp tubes and wire come in handy. Start by cutting 12 inches of wire for an 8 inch bow. If your bow is longer than 8 inches, add an extra inch of wire per every inch past 8. For this final step, we'll need our little crimp tubes. What we'll need to do now is put about 2 inches of wire through one end of the carbon fiber rod. Place a crimp tube on the wire and loop it back around. Put the wire back through the crimp tube and pull it through with some needle nose pliers making sure the loop is as small as possible. Next, take your needle nose pliers and flatten the crimp tube in the middle. And finally, trim the excess wire hanging off from the loop making sure not to cut the wrong line. Repeat these last few steps on the other end of the rod, making sure to keep both loops on the same side. If your bow looks like this when you're done, congratulations! You've completed your long-awaited powerful mini bow and or crossbow limb. If you've already made either a simple arrow, a needle-tipped arrow, or a mini crossbow frame, then you're ready to test out your bow. If not, check out these other awesome videos so you can use your mini crossbow or bow to its full potential. When testing your bow with its appropriate ammo, you'll find that it's super powerful and accurate and fires many arrows and crossbow bolts at extreme speeds and distances. Well that concludes the making and testing of our mini bow. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. 
You can also follow me on Twitter at Trumpith95. Thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you next time.